In this video, we are going to discuss the first example of calculation of shear stress in a structural member. We are given with a simply supported beam with two point loads acting in the mid span. The lengths at which the point load are acting are as follows span by 4, span by 2, and span by 4 from the right. We are required to find out the maximum shear stress that for which we need to construct the stress profile of the member and for the force maximum shear force we require to first find out the shear force of the given structure let's construct the shear force diagram for that we need reactions the reactions will be simply calculated as p and p using equilibrium equations as discussed in previous videos The shear force diagram will be as follows. The magnitude is P. From the shear force diagram, we pick up the maximum magnitude of the shear force that is P. So we take V is equal to P. The shear force stress profile equation is V Q over I T. Let's call this as equation number 1. In order to obtain different values on the profile, we select different points in cross section. Let's first find out the moment of inertia of the cross section. The moment of inertia of cross section is D H Q divided by 12. V is V, I is D H cube over 12. And for calculating Q and T, we split the cross section into various points so that we get multiple points on the shear stress profile which we will draw in the later part of the question in first step we will split the cross section into various points this is the neutral axis where the flexural stresses will be zero. Let's call this section as B, B, this as A, A, this as C, C, and this as D, D. We will find out the value of Q and T on these points. Normally for rectangle, the neutral axis is at mid height when considering the elastic structural behavior. Let's start with calculating Q for first moment of area for the section for point BB. Q B B is equals to A B B multiplied by Y. Note that Y is the centroid from the area B B to the whole body centroid. It is basically a distance. The area B B is equals to 0 since this is just a straight line and Y is equals to the distance from centroid to the area is h by 2. So substituting value in QBB equation we get QBB is equals to 0. This area is 0. Putting the values in equation number 1 that is VQ over IT 
we get shear stress value as 0 since Q is 0. For section AA, we need QA, A value, area A, A multiplied by the distance. I will explain the distance calculation. Let's this is assume this is a cross section. This was the section AA. So we consider the area above the section AA. Since it is above, since the A section AA is above neutral axis, so we consider the area above AA. This is at quarter of height h by 4. The remaining distance to neutral axis is h by 4. The so distance y is distance from centroid of the area AA to the neutral axis. QAA is equal to the area AA is B into H by 4. This area, the shaded one. And the distance Y is H by 4 plus H by 4 divided by 2. The QAA comes out to be three B H square divided by thirty two. We know that the thickness at this section is equals to P. So substituting these values in equation number one, that is VQ over IT, we get tau at section AA is P into V is equals to P, I is equals to VH2 over 12. Q value we get from here 3 p h square divided by 32 into so the tau value at this section gets comes out to be 3. now we need to find out the tau value at the neutral axis for neutral axis point we need to first find once above the neutral axis and then below the neutral axis let's call this as q n a 1 for above the neutral axis it equals to area n a 1 into y so the distance from the area above neutral axis to the whole body centroid is h by 4 so y is h by 4 and Area above neutral axis is h by 2 into b. Note that it was for neutral axis point above. So q and a above comes out to be h by 2 into b as area into h by 4 as a distance y. The value comes out to be V H square divided by A. Now substituting the values in the tau equation that is V2 over I T. We know that I is V H cube over 12, T is again as the thickness V at the neutral axis section. And V was P. Cancelling the values, we get tau at section n a. And a one is for above the neutral above the neutral axis area. 
थ्री बाय टू पी ओवर बी एच नाउ फॉर द न्यूट्रल एक्सिस बिलो एरिया रिपीट प्रोसीजर सेमेट्रिक शेप Let's call that as N A two. Shaded area is this one. The area is H by two into P, and the distance Y is H by four. The Q N A below comes out to be. H by two multiplied by B into H by four. Substituting in equation one, that is B Q over I T. We will get three by two B multiplied by B H. A similar value. Now for section two two. Or you can say that section C C. This was section C C. Since it is below neutral axis, so we pick up the area below the section. <sighs> Q C C is equal to area C into the distance y. The area CC is h by four multiplied by b. Since this distance is h by four and this is b, and the distance y is h by four plus h by four divided by b. The QCC comes out to be. Three B H square divided by thirty two. You know that thickness at this cross section is equal to. So substituting in equation number one, that is tau is equal to Q over I T. We get V was P and Q is three B H square divided by thirty two. I is B H cube divided by twelve. T is thickness B, so we get tau value at section C C as nine P divided by eight P H. For section D D, since section D D. Has no area. The area is equal to zero. So the Q D D is zero since Q D D is product of area into the distance y. Hence, equation one sub substituting values in equation one, we get tau D D is equal to zero. Now starting to draw the shear stress profile for the given shape. We knew the values as tau B C is equal to zero and tau D P is equal to zero. Tau at neutral axis is equal to three by two P over P H and tau A A is equal to tau C C is equal to nine by eight. H nine by eight P over P H. The cross section was and it denotes neutral. 
these are the values of tau that I will be plotting and this is the plotting along the distance. This was section D, B, C, this was B, this was A, A and this was C, C. The value add of tau B, B is equals to 0 and the value of tau D, D is equals to 0. The value of tau A, A is equals to 9 by 8 P, B, H. That may lie somewhere here. It is not too scarce just for explanation. Relative distances and tau cc is 9 by 8 pbh while 3 by 2 pbh is greater than 9 by 8 pbh so it at neutral axis the value will be somewhere here joining these lines will give us a second degree curve now if you remember we were asked for tau max in the question. The tau max value comes out to be 3 by 2 p b p divided by b h, which is the answer. In the next video, we will discuss further complicated examples of the shear stress calculation. Thank you for watching.